I can go. Floyd said it all. <laughs> he basically, in his speech, summarized <coughs> very well how important it is to plan. And goal setting and having goals and planning how to get them is a key to success. What is success? Success is achieving goals. Now, what kind of goals did you set yourself? Is the question. You can set yourself a goal, you know, I want to have a tan. Or you can set yourself a goal, by the end of this Toastmasters year, I want to have achieved my CC and I will tell everybody about it, including my VPE, and I will tell my VPE that I want to give speech number six on this day, speech number seven on that day, and speech number eight on that day. Now, I'll read you an email that I sent to my VPE on Thursday, the 16th of August, 2012. And this was prior to hearing this or reading it. Hi, Elena. I'd like to share with you some goals I have set for myself for this year and how I plan to achieve them. Goals. One, by 31-12-12, finish CL. By 31-12-12, finish ACB, then start on ACS. By 30.04.13, finish ALB. Next Toastmasters year, take a district office such as area governor. Well, go figure. So here I am today. What's it? It's August 2013, and I'm still working on my LA ALB. Fail. But I am an area governor, so yay! I managed that one. So this email <coughs> I sent to my VPE. And she came back to me and said, that's great. This is the first time I've ever had a member come to me and say, this is what I want to do and this is what I want to achieve. It. This is, was fantastic. And she went and put it in the newsletter, asked the VPPR to put it in the newsletter and said, guys, do the same. Set yourself goals. Hardly anyone did. And it's a mystery to me why. What's so hard about it? It takes 10 minutes of your time. Not even. It takes 3 minutes of your time. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, I won't let you off the hook. At the end of this presentation, you'll all be setting yourself goals. Now, when you set yourself goals, it's not enough just to set yourself a goal. It has to be a SMART goal. Okay, now we've heard about SMART goals. And SMART goals are S, for specific. So you have to be really specific about what you want to achieve. M, for measurable. Okay, you have to be able to measure when you achieve them, you have to be able to identify how close you become to achieving this goal. <coughs> Excuse me. I have to check my note here. Uh, a, for actionable. Okay, the goal, if it's not in your control, is not a goal that you can achieve. A, smart. A, for smart reasonable. If it's up and beyond of what you can achieve, then you're just going to get frustrated. And T, it has to be timed. You have to set yourself a deadline for when you achieve the goal. So you set yourself a goal, like you want to achieve your CC, and then you have to plan how you move toward the goal. So I'll continue with my email to Eleanor. To achieve these goals, I need to complete two CL projects, complete four manual speeches, complete two success projects. So I, identify, I identified my strategy on how, I gonna, how I will achieve these goals. The plan, and then I go through a calendar and I say, well, these are the meeting dates. On the 16th of August, I'm going to be the general evaluator, CL. On the 20th of September, I'm going to be speaking to inform, speech number five. On the 4th of October, Competent leader, contest project chair, and entertaining speaker number three, and so on and so on and so on. When we set ourselves goals and when we plan our goals, it's also important that we make contingencies. We plan for unforeseen events, unfortunate occurrences. What happens if you miss a meeting? Is that going to throw your whole planning out of kilter? Now, I started a new job in July 2012, literally the week before I sent that email. And what I didn't realize at the time was, even though it was the same job I was doing before, just for a different <coughs> company, was that all of a sudden I'd be traveling every other week. 
Oh, and that's why I missed some of these goals. Now, if you look at this email, there's a lot of arrows on there, a lot of ticks and a lot of revised dates. Uh-oh. So this is what you have to keep in mind. You have to revise where you are on your progress towards your goal, and then you revise. It's a continual process of revision, just like Lloyd said. And don't forget to take a break. Now, let's have a quick look at strategy. And if we, if we look at our goals, the big one, it's really important to make a plan. And the plan is nothing but the succession, excuse me now for hiding behind the board, but we tried flipping it over earlier and it just didn't work. So here's my goal, and this is the plan. Now what's the plan? The plan is just a succession of little goals. Okay? And you break it down into manageable little chunks. So what appears initially is this huge goal that we're really scared about. Oh my word, how am I ever going to do 10 manual speeches? Well, easy. You start with one. And then you have another one. And then you have another one until you get there. And you write it all down. And you staple it in the first page of your CC manual. So every time you open it, you see it and you're reminded. And you tell your VPE about it. So your VPE can follow up on your progress. You share it with the team. This is about your personal goals. But what about your team? What if your team has goals? Your team is the club. And your club's goals are formulated in the DCP. Your club's goal might be to become a President's Distinguished Club. Well, you've done it before, you know you can do it again. Now the president is in charge of making sure that the club achieves this goal and he has a DCP success plan to follow up if the goal is being, if the club is on track to achieve this goal. The DCP, DCP success plan is a succession of little goals. And what's more, the president doesn't have to do it himself. He can delegate to the VPE, to everyone in the club. Everybody has to help. And as I mentioned, it's best to visualize the goal. So if I can make one point for encouragement, hang up your DCP success plan chart next to your banner. So every meeting, you're reminded where you want to go and who has to do what. At the beginning of this educational, I mentioned that I was going to ask you all to create your own goals. And for that I have prepared a little worksheet. And Sparta, if you could hand these that around this direction, if you could hand those around the other direction. So I want you to think about, sorry, timer, could you just reset that clock as we yep. discussed? I want you now to think about really quickly a goal that pops into your mind, a specific goal, a target. To make it easy for yourself, choose something that has to do with Postmasters, because that's what we're talking about here now. But you can copy this and use any other goal you'd like for work, for home, for family, community, whatever you want to achieve. If you want to lose weight, for example, your goal could be, I want to lose five kilos by the end of the year, and how am I going to do it? I'm going to visit the gym every Tuesday and every Saturday, for example. So off you go, write your goals down, right now, and when you're finished, you collect them all and give them to your VPE, okay, because there's no chickening out, I want all these papers to end up at your VPE. All right.
So I'm just mindful of that timing light. I'm supposed to probably be seeing yellow right now. So I'll just draw your attention away from your worksheets. And in conclusion, I'd just like to share with you that goals are the key to achieving results. Now a result doesn't need to be specific. A result can be for you, do you want to become a confident speaker? And as we know, it's a lifetime of learning. There is no end to it. It's just a gradual improvement. And if you have a goal that doesn't have an end, there's no way you can reach it. So be specific. Instead of saying, I want to become a confident speaker, you can say, I want to give 10 speeches in this period of time to that kind of audience. Involve your team. Don't do it yourself. Involve your team, involve your peers, and make sure that they follow up. And lastly, visualize. Like the anonymous alcoholics who tie something around their finger, if you stick it in the front of your manual, you'll be reminded every time you open it that you had these goals. And with that, I hand back to Andrew, our Toastmaster for the day.